Hello everyone, let us study about the structure of antibodies in few minutes. Let's go. So, you know that antibody structure is Y like it. Look here. Y like Yes. But this Y is not like Y like it. How is this Y shaped structure formed? Let me explain. Look here. Look the labels. 1, 2, 3 and 4. What are these? These are nothing but peptide chains. These are the soluble protein molecules formed by the B cells. Note it down. B cells banate hai. The antibodies. These are also known as immunoglobulins. There are many types of immunoglobulins which are formed by our body. So B cells secrete these immunoglobulins and these are also the called the antibodies. So Y shape structure is char peptide chain. Se. Got it? Fine. Note one more thing. These are made up of amino acids of course. So definitely it will have the N terminal and the C terminal regions. You got the point? Because ye amino acids se bante. Got it? Perfect. Now, these are four chains. These two types can divide these two types. First, heavy chain. Why? Why? Because yes, see, these are longer. That means, they are amino acids. Definitely, the molecular weight is heavier compared to these shorter chains. Right? Correct? Yes or no? Perfect. So, these are heavy chains. And because two are, it is called H2. Clear? Now, these two are heavy chains. These are linked together by disulfide bonds or rather you can also call them as disulfide bridges. And how many are there? Please note, there are two such disulfide linkages which are joining or which are keeping these heavy chains intact. Got it? Now, let's move on to the next one which is the light chains. How many are there? Do, do light chains aapko dikh hai. Yes, do light chains. Ab, light chain kyun? Obviously, the molecular weight is lesser. It is shorter in size also. Ab dekho. Okay, these light chains are again linked to the heavy chains by what? Disulfide bridges. How many? One for each. One for each. Note it down. So heavy chains linked by two disulfide bridges and the light chain and heavy chain, each one of them are linked by one disulfide bridge or disulfide linkage you can say. Got it? So, so this was the whole structure of the antibody or rather the Y-shaped structure that we have studied. Now, this structure has two regions. One is the constant region. Look here. This is the constant part. What does this mean? Go with the English meaning of it. Fixed. This is fixed. This is not change. Now, see here. This region will be variable. Yes. It means this is fixed. This can vary. Ho sakta hai. It can undergo conformational changes. And yes, this is, if you have figured it out, this is the site where antigens will bind. Or rather, I would say, these antibodies can go and bind to the antigens and the binding sites are these, the variable regions. Ab samaj mein hai, variable? Because for the binding to happen, there will be slight conformational requirements. So, variations to be right? But ye constant hai. Rest of the region, it's constant. Got it? Okay. Achha. Disulfide bridges ke baare mein jo mein baat kar tha, total how many disulfide bridges? There are 16 disulfide bridges or bonds in this particular antibody structure. Now, let me show you the binding. This is the antigen binding site. Now see here. Do you see the binding happening? These are the antibodies. They are trying to bind. But, ab, is binding, ye jo binding ki baat kar raha hai, ye do type ke ho sakta hai. Specific binding and non-specific ho sakta hai. Right? Matlab, kuch bonds. Dekho yaha pe. Look here. See, this, this initially, it, it is not able to bind. It is trying, but it is not able to bind because this is not specific. So that means the antigen binding sites or these antibodies are specific to specific antigens. Antibodies are specific to specific antigens. So this is a non-specific binding, so it cannot be retained. So it moves away. Specific bindings will be happening and they will be retained. And this will further help in triggering the immune response of our body. Well, so that is about the structure of antibody or aise hi such interesting content ke liye. Stay tuned to Akash Baiju's niche YouTube channel.